G'day everybody, Burnsy47 here. Welcome back today to our opening of our rewards given to us in the quest that was just on the Chloe Warriors of Awesomeness quest. Um, we'll just open up this crystal now, tier 3. So if hopefully you have been paying attention or have just seen a few videos of the quest, it's just basically put up the last chapter, not the last quest, sorry, of the last chapter. Um, it's actually the first time I've completed this, so I'm quite happy of my achievement. So here we get a Mystic Tier 3. Just don't really care about that, I've probably got six of them already. If not, I've probably sold some more. So we go here, Tier 4 Class Catalyst. So... In terms of catalysts go, I wouldn't mind a skill crystal for um, our Karnak, who means he's available to take up to rank 3. I s yeah, just Karnak. I think Winter Soldier's 3 skill and Karnak's only 2 for the rank up. However, whatever we get, I'll be happy either way. Right, so... Hopefully we get a skill, if not, maybe a tech, just so we can help Star-Lord go up to rank 5, he'd be cool champ to take up. Uh, yeah, so it's spinning, it's going to stop on a science. I don't know if we've got any science, actually. So we'll just take a quick diversion, diversion. Diver diversion, yeah, sounds right, I think it is right. Um, did I go champion? No. So we go catalysts, tier four. So that's our first science. So we don't have any tech or, I thought we had one tech, but a hey, mystic would be good, you know. If I awaken my juggernaut, I could take him to rank three. But obviously we didn't get that. Let's go back into crystals. Um, we will just open these five. So we're just we're gonna open five at once. Hopefully we don't get all two stars, at least the three star would be nice. And we get all two stars. They get what you're given, I suppose. <laughs> no, well, we did get lucky in that episode with the Electra episode where we opened a few crystals in it. Oh, sorry. Um, we will, here, we will open our four star awakening gem. So, hopefully, I get a mutant. As I don't have an awakened mutant yet, but otherwise I wouldn't mind a cosmic for Thor. I've already got a tech one. Um, yeah, so let's just spin it. Suppose for Mystic, I could. If I get a Mystic, I might get an Unstoppable Colossus from the store. I don't have a four star of him. Um, science might use it on Hulk or Rhino. Cosmic, I said. Thor, Skill, probably Black Panther over Moon Knight. Uh, so it stopped, and we get a skill. Yeah, it's funny how that works, isn't it? The last one I mentioned, we get. But anyway, not overly pleased with that, but it could be worse. I've got pretty much all of my text duped, and I could have got another one there. So we go back to crystals. What's this one? Uh, that's not an important crystal. So we're going to open our two four-star crystals right now. One, two. We're going to spin them this time. Let's see who we can get. Drop. Hopefully I can awaken a good champion that I wouldn't have awakened with a stone like a Thor. See Wolverine there, Superior Iron Man, they're good. Wouldn't mind a Venom Pool actually. So we'll tap this one. Go 
group. Oh, yes! I must have something in me at the moment. We get Venom Pool. That is a fantastic, fantastic champion to get, honestly. I reckon it's Grouse. So we're going to let this one spin out. If we can awaken Venom Pool, that would be nice. Um, just looking there, Wolverine would be good to awaken Superior Iron Man, I said before. Um, Civil War Black Panther would be nice. Maybe awaken another Mystic. So it stops, span out, and we are going to get Storm. That's two good pulls with two new champions. Come on. Come on, that's good. I'm happy I waited for that. I wanted Storm for a long time. I reckon she's a fantastic champion, especially when awakened. Not so, when she's unawakened, um, not so much, I'd say. Venipool is amazing. So we'll both, we'll put levels into both of them now. So we'll filter four star. Scroll down, Storm. So she's got a higher PI at the moment. Um, I suppose just put all these into her now. Not really ISO I'm going to use, is it? Save those for Venom Pool. Yeah, but Storm, she's a beast. You know, if I could even get her as a five star, you know, a duplicate five star Storm would go off. I've always rated her as probably top three, um, top three mutant champions. Does that work there? Nope. <coughs> Sorry. Um, does that work? Sorry again. <coughs> I've got a bit of a cold right now. Um, so Storm there, 1235, Venom Pool, we'll put that into him and that was probably a bit too much. Yeah. It's alright. Just look how good he is, man. I'm so, so juiced. So there is Venom Pool there, level 10, 12, 4, 2. So he's higher than Storm. So we'll look at Storm first, her second special. Oh, sorry, her second special is amazing. I can't wait to rank these champs up. I might, no, I probably won't do it at the same time. What's today's arena actually? Today is a skill, so it means we just missed out on a miss the on the um, mutant. But hey, these champions are great. So we're Storm here. Storm, so look at her specials, uh, sorry, her abilities. So each special attack has a percent chance to stun. With the higher the uh, special number, the higher the stun chance. 50% chance to shock your opponent, dealing 35 of your attacker's energy damage over 6 seconds. Shocks ignore physical resistance, but not armor. So does that mean that if you shock a character, or if you uh, use a special against a character with armor up, do they not get shocked, or does it? I don't really, I don't really know. Um, 
Yeah, she's a good champion. Got good synergies. We've got Magic, Black Panther, and Cyclops. I suppose Black Panther is the only good synergy I've got that I can use. On to Venompool now. He is amazing. I think it's his... I've wanted him ever since he came out. So his ability is he accesses Deadpool's Bizarre Mind and starts making up buff effects at random. Special Attack 1. The symbiote has a 79% chance to steal an enemy buff effect from the opponent and feed it to Deadpool to trigger his healing factor, recovering 8% health over 7 seconds. So that's if any buff. I thought it was only for... I thought it only took, um, like, the special and gave him that special, but that's pretty good. So does that mean if you're fighting a, is it a symbioid that's, is it a symbioid, the tech symbioid that gets all those armor ups and the Deadpool oil that gets hypersonic aura, that means you can just regenerate. So it's going to be good. So the second special just places a hill block. Um, allowing Deadpool to finish his sweet dance moves after his attack boost, his confidence and dance with 50%. Critical eight. So that's just what. Right. So whenever he does the sword spin XL edition. I think he hits him, then he does a moonwalk or whatever. So that's just saying if you do that and he moonwalks, he gets 15% crit rate, which is going to be great. And his special, all of his special attacks have an 84% chance to inflict bleed, dealing 152% of your attack, which as I can see there is probably about 560 damage, over 6 Point five seconds, so he's going to be amazing. Awakened. So I'll cut the. Oh, I won't cut it here actually. So we'll go here. I've had these for a while, but I might leave this up to you here. So as you can see, we've got a regular awakening gem, skill awakening gem, and a. Tech Awakening Gem. So we'll go into our champions. Remember, we have a normal tech and a skill. So we'll go to tech first. So we've only got two options Iron Patriot and Vision, Age of Ultron Edition. Um, I don't really know who to, to do. So comment down below who you think I should. Uh, awaken and why or if I should wait till I get a good tech champion maybe someone like Civil Warrior who's got a high prestige so we'll move on now to skill and again we've only got the choice of two Moon Knight and Black Panther so just as same with uh, Vision and Iron Patriot uh, comment down below who you think I should awaken and why. Um, or should I maybe wait for another character? Maybe if I get, you know, a Karnak or a Hawkeye. You know, who I should. Or if I get Daredevil, Netflix, or even might pull a Punisher soon. You never know. And we'll just go here to all of our unawakened four stars. So as you can see from Deadpool X-Force down, who should I awaken from this list? I'm probably thinking Thor, but maybe even Storm could sneak in. I wouldn't mind awakening Wolverine. But then again, um, the choice is up to all of you out there to view this video and comment on it. Uh, so yeah, who should I awaken of all the classes? So thank you all for watching this video uh, if you enjoyed it leave a like don't forget to uh, comment who I who you would like me to awaken 
and you know hopefully you have enjoyed my video um, hopefully that likes to subscribe and hopefully see you later